supplies, picture frames, watercolor paint, watercolor paper, pencil and brushes. This project is inspired by Pottery Barn's botanical prints. At the moment, botanical prints are really trendy at various stores. The ones I like the most are the green leaves. Like this one. I also like succulents and pale leaves. These are watercolor prints and I love them. The only thing I'm not fond of is the price, $183. I decide to buy watercolor paint and make my own botanical art. I'm using these frames I got at Target from the heart and hand line, but you can use any frame you have home. What I like about these frames is that you can open them and change the art. If you are new to watercolors like me, I recommend using good quality paper. This will help you to get better results. I also got this Windsor & Newton watercolor pocket box from Amazon. I'm going to leave you the links to these products in the info box below the video. I'm going to cut one of these sheets into a square. Draw or trace your favorite plant. I'm not going to teach you a technique because I'm pretty new to watercolors, but I will show you a time lapse of how I did it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm only using three colors to make these lips. To be the second time using watercolor since high school, I think they look great. The only brushes I used were these two, I got them at Michael's. Now I'm going to place them in the frame. I hope you like this DIY and if you make it, please don't forget to share a pic on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram, I would love to see it. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.